Today I'm going to talk about menopause and bone health. I am Dr Ash, a menopause specialist accredited by the British Menopause Society. Our bones are constantly being broken down and reformed by specialist bone cells. This process called bone remodelling helps to keep bones healthy and strong. Peak bone mass is usually achieved by our mid-twenties, after which bone constantly continues to rebuild and remodel. During the menopause, the drop in oestrogen causes this process to become out of balance. More bone is broken down than being formed, leading to bone loss, and this can be quite rapid for a few years around the menopause. You then continue to lose bone at a slower rate as you get older. Bone loss can lead to osteoporosis, where the bone is thinned and more liable to break if there is a sudden impact or a fall. It is often a hidden disease that is only diagnosed after having a fracture. It is actually a very common condition. One in two women over the age of 50 will develop osteoporosis. It is less common in men where only one in five over the age of 50 will develop this. Worldwide, nine million women experience a fracture annually, which is roughly one every three seconds. One in three women over the age of 50 will sustain a hip fracture, and this can lead to serious health consequences. Once a fracture has occurred, there is five times increased risk of fracture in the following year. This can lead to a significant impact on the quality of life, as women may need help washing, dressing and shopping. 40% of women who fracture their hip may need assistance mobilising and will no longer be able to live independently. The psychological and physical consequences can be huge. There are certain factors which can increase the risk of developing osteoporosis. One that we can't change is genetics and a family history of osteoporosis, especially in a parent, will increase the risk. There are other modifiable risks that we can change, such as smoking, alcohol, intake of three units a day or more, low body weight with a body mass index of less than 18.5 or a diet lacking in calcium and vitamin D. If you have an early menopause or had your ovaries removed surgically before the age of 40, there is a higher risk of osteoporosis and fractures. Other risk factors include medications such as oral steroids and some antidepressants. Osteoporosis is diagnosed on a DEXA scan, which can assess the bone mineral density. This is often done if there is a family history, if there are increased risk factors, or if you have already sustained a low impact fracture. Fortunately, there are treatments for osteoporosis. If you already have osteoporosis or a high risk of breaking bones, Many studies have shown that oestrogen in HRT can help strengthen your bones and make fractures less likely. Oestrogen can be used as a prevention as well as treatment of osteoporosis. It is especially important to start HRT if you have experienced an early menopause, that is before the age of 40, as this will reduce your risk of osteoporosis and fractures. High impact weight bearing exercise such as running, skipping, dancing, aerobics, and even jumping up and down on the spot in combination with muscle strengthening exercises can help keep bones strong. Nutrition is also very important for strong bones. 700 milligrams of calcium is needed every day. This can be found in green leafy vegetables, dried fruit, and dairy products. Vitamin D can be found in oily fish, egg yolks, and from sunlight. You may want to consider taking a vitamin D supplement in the winter months or if you are not getting this adequately through your diet. If you'd like to discuss the risks and the prevention of osteoporosis, the medical prime team will be happy to help.